What's going on, y'all? This is Mega Marley, aka the Stock Plug. You can find me on Instagram at Mega Marley underscore. That's Mega Marley underscore. All one word. Follow me on Instagram, right? So let me go ahead and uh, get into it. I actually got a, a interesting story to tell y'all. All right, about what happened in uh, this our, our property preservation company. You know, property preservation is basically just uh, upkeep of foreclosed homes, right? Uh, you know, you have foreclosed homes that no one's living in. Um, that the banks own and they got to be serviced right and that's what we do you know and we you know who knew there was a big business in that and uh there's a business in that now you know we we just working on that right so within this business we like to give um opportunities to people right and we gave an opportunity to a a, a young man you know what i'm saying a young black man you know and we basically were excited you know me and my business partner was excited about having the opportunity to not only put money in a uh, a young black man's uh pocket but um but actually molding molding that young man to become a boss right to become someone who works for themselves right who doesn't have to rely on somebody else to get it someone who can actually go out and hunt and and eat what they killed right um so that's what we was molding him to be Unfortunately, what happened was he ended up uh, moving on uh, to a nine to five, right? And and moving on is not the problem, right? Moving on from, from our company is not the problem. Uh, we're glad that he's able to move on. But what we're kind of disappointed is in the fact that he actually moved on to a nine to five. So we're looking at it as, and, and before I even get into that, you know, the way, you know, he's, 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 you know he's 18 he's old he's, he's 18 or 19 i forgot how old he is but you know he's old enough to make his own decisions but we understand let me tell you something anybody who's younger than 25 i'm gonna just be blunt you, you still stupid right um when i was 25 i was you know 20 24 18 i was still stupid i i, I knew i yeah i know i knew a little bit about stuff you know, I made some good decisions, but I was still stupid. Your prefrontal cortex, the, the, the part of your brain that makes, you know, uh, decisions and kind of separates you from animals doesn't fully develop until you are 25, 26, right? So I give him a pass. Anybody who is under 25, I give them a pass, right? When they make stupid mistakes, I'm like, okay, it's it's because you're still young and you, you know what I'm saying? You're young, you're right? You're young and stupid. I was young and stupid. We all we all understand that. Anybody who's over 25 understands that, right? Um, but people who are over 25, it's kind of hard for me to give those people a pass, right? Because it's at that point where it's like you should know better, right? You you kind of you're kind of older now. You're a little bit wiser now. You should know better. You should be making better decisions, right? So people who are over 20, you know what I'm saying, 20, 30, 35, it's like okay, this is a time to actually learn from your mistakes and to do better let's let's do better right you're you're, you're older now you're wiser now you 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 know what to do now so anything after that is now a choice it's not a mistake it's a choice right you you bump your head once okay that was a mistake you bump your head 10 times in a same doing the same thing that's a choice right so we still give that young man a, a, the benefit of the doubt right i understand I, I i understand i understand what it's like to be 18. We were just disappointed in the fact that he kind of got convinced to it. What? Excuse me. It looks. It, what it looks like is by based on him talking to other people, it kind of looked like he got convinced to go work a nine to five, right? Because on the, what it looks like is if he works a nine to five, he would actually make more money working for them, right? So we was paying him a certain amount, but. Really, this is kind of a probationary period, and while you're while you're working with us, you're kind of learning things. We're kind of giving you on-the-job training. You didn't have to interview for this job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You didn't have to do anything. You got you got to go interview for that other for that for that other job. But working with us, you ain't got to interview. You just got to come out and, and, and do your thing and work hard. You know what I'm saying? And what ended up happening is, you know, he ended up going to that other job where you got to interview for it and all of that stuff and. You know, he probably probably making a little bit more money, but the thing about it was we were training him up to actually make more than he would have, way more than he would have made at, at a nine to five, right? 
So not only did he now miss out on the opportunity to make more money, right? But what are you gonna learn at a nine to five that you couldn't learn with us? We was teaching him real estate. We was teaching him stocks. We was teaching him how to be a man. We was teaching him about business. We was teaching him about how to be your own boss. We was teaching him about finance, economics. You know, we were basically, you know what I'm saying? We were just giving him the game, so the game that we wish that we could have had, right? When we were 18. Man, let me tell you something. If I had the, the half the amount of game I know now, when I was 18, I'd be a, mil I'd be a multi-millionaire right now. You feel me, right? So we're steady working on it, right? And I say this better late than never. If you 35, you listening to this. If you 45, you 55, let me tell you something. 65, I don't care how old you are, 85. If you 85 right now, I don't care if you 65, there's someone who is two years older than you, five years older than you, 10 years older than you, who would give their right arm to be where you're at right now. Me meaning what? If you was 85 right now, there's somebody who's 95 who wished they was 85. They could, they could go back to when they was 85. If you 35 right now, even if you 30 right now, if you 30 years old, there is somebody who is 40 years old right now who, let me know in the comments, y yes or no. Uh, as a matter of fact, subscribe to the DJ Mega Mart, subscribe to the channel. If you like what's going on right here, if you like what you, the information you're getting, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, right? Let me know in the comments. If you are 40 years old, right? What would you do to go back to when you was 30, 10 years ago, right? What would you do to go back to, you know, uh, uh, if it's 2020 right now, what would you do to go back to 2010, right? What would you do? What would you do? You feel me? Like, and how much more progress you would make if you knew then what you know now? You see what I'm saying? So that's the thing is this young man is 18 let me tell you something he was giving this boy a game because we would give him game you feel me and we told him straight up listen you rock with us man by the time you 25 30 you're gonna be you're gonna be well off by the time you 30 you probably gonna be a millionaire you know what i'm saying if, if that probably more than that you feel me you probably gonna be a multi-millionaire so we was but unfortunately he got he got convinced by some other people that working at a nine to five is actually better, right? So, and then here's the thing, what you gonna learn at that nine to five? Nothing. You gonna learn how to be a nice, good slave. That's what, it, you, you're, just gonna, you're just gonna learn how to work hard. They're not gonna teach you nothing, but how to do whatever. You know what I'm saying? If you're working at a, a restaurant or whatever, uh, all they're gonna teach you is how to, uh, how, to, how, to, how to clean up and wash dishes. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is what happens, man. Like. It's crazy how, if we really break it down, whoever convinced him to, of course, you know, he's a, he's a young man. And let me know what you think in the comments. He's a young man. Do you, do you think that is his fault or the people who, the people who convinced him, right? I say, I, like I said, he's 18, I give him a pass. Even though it's still a stupid decision, I give him a pass, right? But if you are younger than uh, 25, I'll give you a pass, right? But the, the, the thing about it is I'm also disappointed in the people who who, who who convinced him to lead the 9 to 5 Because what you did, what you did there Was you stripped this young man From learning the game And another thing you did was You took a valuable resource away from a black business You see what I'm saying? You took you took you took a valuable resource away from a black business, man, and I and I got an issue with that. You know, um, there's this guy. His name is Dr. Boyce Watkins. Great, brilliant guy, right? He's a black finance professor, Dr. Boyce Watkins, and he says sometimes he said that sometimes black people are the biggest contribution to white supremacy, right? They took this young man, young black man, away from a black business to go work for a white a white business go to go work for the white man right so that's what happened there and i know you know some people going to be like man you making everything black and white da, 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 da. and it's just like i'm speaking the real why can't i just speak the real can i speak the real can we can we analyze this let me tell you something if you here right now you're an intelligent person you're someone who can who can look past 
the surface and you can break things down and analyze them, right? Because that's why we're here. We're here to break things down, analyze them, and talk the real. You feel me? So that's what happened. They stripped him away. They stripped a valuable resource away from a black business. And I got an issue with that, right? So I'm kind of disappointed because I was looking forward to to, to kind of molding this to, this young man, and 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 it's gonna be more in the future. You know what I'm saying? So I can't really get mad at that, but man, we was grooming, we was grooming him to be his own boss. You know what I'm saying? And that's disappointing, man. And and these same people who probably convinced him, right, to go work a nine to five, right? What are they doing, right? You 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 telling you telling this man, oh, you know, go do this because it's probably steady money or whatever. You know what I mean, but what are you doing? What what are you doing? How how great is your life right now that you're telling this man, you're telling this young man to go get something steady, right? Because he's not getting no game. He's not getting no game. He's not getting no a uh, uh, valuable life knowledge from this nine to five. You feel me? And that's the reason why we steady. We steady be working these nine to fives. You feel me? Because anytime in a black community, and, and you know what? I'ma just I'ma just speak black right now. Anytime in a black community, right? We 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 somebody wants some money, what's the first thing they tell you? They tell you to go get a job. Go get a job. They don't never tell you to go start your own business. Right? They don't never tell you that. Don't nobody ever uh pass you a Costco card and say, listen, go go buy go go to Costco, buy some candy. And resell it for a profit. You know what I'm saying? Go to go to go to Walmart, go get go buy some waters and resell it for a profit. Create something, create something that somebody wants. You feel me? And sell it for a profit besides some damn weed or, or some damn coke. Right? Excuse my language. I know there might be kids watching. So excuse me. I don't like I don't like to curse too much, but sometimes, you know what I'm saying, when you just feeling it. It just come out that way right so and then another thing is i can guarantee you here's two things another thing i get uh, two more things i can guarantee you right number one if this was the asian community if this was the indian community if this was the latino community if this was the jewish community let me tell you something if you go and, and, and leave your uncles you know what i'm saying or yo or, or somebody who somebody who uh is in your in your community and you working for them and then you go leave to work for another community oh they gonna disown you they gonna disown you you see what i'm saying they gonna disown you they gonna say you know what if you leave don't come back don't you come back but us as black people we be so forgiving that we just let anything fly you feel me? And we still, and we still, that 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 young man, we still going, we going, we still going to continue to mold him. You know what I'm saying? If he needed, if he need any help from us, we still going, we still going to give him a little something. Not give him a little something, but we still going to give him the game. You feel me? Because we understand that he young, right? But that's how I'm telling you. That's how that's how them other community. And if you think I'm wrong, go go ask go ask somebody else. That's number one. Number two. Shoot, man. <laughs> Man, let me tell you something, bro. It's it's just so crazy how we be so willing to just give up what we got to go do something that's not gonna benefit us. Why do we continue to do those things? Why we continue to do these these? Why we keep on passing on these slave this slave mentality? You know what I'm saying? And my second point, I'm sorry, y'all. I just had to just divert from that. But my second point is usually in in other communities, they're gonna send, they're gonna, they're not gonna send their young people to go work for somebody else. They're gonna, they're gonna have them, they're gonna have them working with their uncle at the, at, you know, what I'm saying at the shop or working with they, whatever they're doing. They're going. So that's that's the thing, man. Um, it's just crazy how that happened. You know, highly disappointed. Highly disappointed in that. Because, like I said, we was looking forward to, to, to molding that young man. 
you know, kind of bringing him under the wing because we need more of that, right? We need more of that. How many black businesses you know is taking young black men, young black women, and molding them into being a boss and giving them that game? How many, how many black businesses you know doing that? You feel me? If you know, if you, if you know any black business businesses doing that, answer me in the comments. Let me know. And if you made it, if you even made it this far in the video, I congratulate you. Because sometimes people attention spans be so low that they can't get past two, uh, uh, th thirty seconds of a video, right? So that's what happened with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you know. That's what that was. We got to we got to kind of re reorganize and re and, and kind of just rethink the logistics of the uh, of, our, of our business and stuff like that. You kind of just adjust, right? You, you just adjust to, you know, you adapt and overcome. That's pretty much what we what we're doing right now, which is which is cool. I'm, I'm that's what being an entrepreneur is. You always adapt and overcome it, right? You uh, being a, an, an entrepreneur is basically just solving problems every single day. You solving problems. Right, but you solving those problems. It's kind of like ironing out wrinkles. You iron out the wrinkles, and then eventually everything becomes straight. Right, so that's why. That's why I don't think there's um anything more so wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? About becoming an entrepreneur. But let me tell you something. You here right now? You're on the trajectory of changing your family tree. You're gonna be the millionaire in your family. You're the black sheep. You're you're the weird one, right? You're the one that everybody kind of looked at as, as kind of quirky or maybe you got picked on or something like that because you had because you had something special about you and other people couldn't deal with that right that's why that's why that's why you hear maybe for, if, if not for one of those reasons maybe all of those reasons right so let me tell you something this community we, we got right here this 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 cult follow this, this 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 little club that we got right here I, I, I'm proud to have people who 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 down but what we got going on, right? Because that's what we doing, and we're gonna revol revolutionize the way that um, that thing that things are going in our community and, and for the future, right? So uh, if you're feeling the information, if you like the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the DJ Mega Marley channel. Um, hit the notification button, leave a comment, let me know what you think about this whole situation. Or if you know any situations similar to this, right? Let me know. And um, I'm going to highlight y'all later. Peace.